As we speak, President Trump is in France celebrating Bastille Day with French President Emmanuel Macron, who uh, declared war on Trump by making him go to a museum with him. And President Trump <laughs> retaliated by hitting on the French First Lady in full view of everyone. Something happened with President Trump, comments he made that have now been posted on the Facebook page, I'm told, of President Macron. Let's listen. Donald J. Trump does not give a f <laughs> in front of his own wife. He's like, damn, girl. You want some of this baguette? <laughs> like, I spent the whole afternoon, I spent the entire afternoon trying to figure out how in that moment Macron didn't punch Trump right there. But then, no, no, but then I realized, I realized something. Whenever Trump is overseas, the one advantage he has is that people aren't hearing him in his native tongue. Yeah, no, think about it, think about it, because everything he says has to be interpreted by a translator. So maybe today when Trump said, you're in great shape, the translator said, he says, you look well. <laughs> right? That could happen. Whereas if I were the translator, I would have been like, yo, my dude wants to smash. <laughs> Which is more accurate. It's way more accurate. You see, translating Donald Trump is a real challenge. <laughs> as our very own Desi Lydic reports. America hears Trump in English. I know words, I have the best words. Well, sort of. But the rest of the world doesn't hear Trump. Paris or the new situation in the new situation in the new situation in the United States. Commencer des négociations pour renouveler pour un accord. The rest of the world hears the translators. We assembled five translators from all over the world to hear their experiences when it comes to translating Trump. Of all the people you've had to translate, where does President Trump fall? He's probably the worst that I've ever translated. Trump is incoherent. And he changed his mind in the middle of the sentence. Sometimes his message is not quite grammatical and seems a little bit uneducated. I would say it's not particularly difficult to translate Trump. All right, get the out of here. Get this guy out of here. Russian Kramer aside, how does one translate Trump with all these obstacles? Sometimes I lie. You lie? I, I have to. No, 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 but you can't do that. You can't do that because, see, we are counting on you to translate President Trump accurately to the rest of the world. Okay. I am accurate 97% of the time. 97% you translate yeah. Trump correctly. Yeah. But the 3%... 3% you have to fake it. 3% of to the make time sense. to fake it. Otherwise, you're going to look like an idiot yourself. It makes us sound stupid. Bing, bing, bong, bong, bing, bing, bing. How would you translate that? Bing, bing, bong, bong. Interesting. OK, maybe that was a softball. But how about this memorable quote? A total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what, what the, the hell is going, going on. on. There's no equivalent to what the hell is going on in Arabic. That's unfortunate, because that would be a widely used turn of phrase. That's one of the main issues. Trump's special vocabulary doesn't always exist in other languages. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab him by the pussy. How would you translate grab him by the pussy? I would say, nandemo sasete kureru, meaning that women can let me do anything. That's mm. very, very different, because it could mean women let me do anything, like treat them like a queen, as opposed to I can grab him by the pussy, mm. you know? Unfortunately, it does not project the same way. Is uh, there a Japanese word for pussy? Not in the exact sense of the word. Is there a Japanese word for this? Sure, that's neko -chan, meaning neko -chan. No, that's not going to work. It's too cute. It's too cute. OK, how about this? Tacos. We just say tacos. OK, I'm getting a real sense of the language barrier here. Is there a Japanese word for this? Roast beef? Kind of. Beef curtains. Beef curtains. Mm -hmm. Beef curtains. Let's come. Let's try that. We will build the wall. And Mexico is going to pay for the wall. Vamos a construir un muro 
y México va a pagar por él. Okay, that is, no, there's warmness in your eyes, you're smiling. That is not the way he said it. You have to do it like he does it. People at home are going to think he's joking. People have a sensitivity, so you don't want to offend them more than he already has, you know? No, you got to give them the Trump. Who's going to pay for the wall? No Mexico. Yeah, no, I know Mexico's not going to pay, but, but Trump believes that Mexico is going to pay for the wall, so if you're going to translate him, you have to believe it too. Who's going to pay for the wall? Nobody is going to pay for that wall in Mexico. I know. What is wrong with these translators? No one is capturing the true Trump. It's not just his words. There's something more. The poor guy, you got to see this guy. Oh, I don't know what I said. Oh, I don't remember. He's going like, I don't remember. I, oh, maybe that's what I said. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. I think you kind of got the gist of that. I'm Trump for the moment while I am interpreting his words. This beautiful mime was right. That's what these translators were missing. They needed to embody Trump, his tone, his mannerisms, his sexism, the whole package. And down with a dumb face. Uh, mm. Grab him by the pussy. Grab him by the pussy. Sad. Sad. Triste. Triste. Sad. After a grueling seven minutes of training, these translators were ready. With cojones? Mexico va a pagar por el muro. There you go. Muy bien. Mexico te lo escondemo. Nailed it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, that's that's good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Desi. Congratulations. You've been randomly selected as a winner of free Daily Show episodes. Yes, you. To claim your prize, just watch full episodes of The Daily Show for free anytime with the Comedy Central app or at thedailyshow.com. What a winner you are. So much winning.